Pekan. Hi, Sadie. So Pekan is doing really well. I could not ask her to be doing better. So she seems really lively, alert, active, comfortable. She's just finishing her antibiotics. And then we're told she goes back on antibiotics if we notice a flare-up. So I have been giving her the Sherwood urinary tabs morning and night. I do one and a half in the morning, one and a half at night. And she has been dumping a lot of calcium. So bare minimum, at least I hope her stone's not getting bigger since calcium's coming out and not just sitting in her bladder. Obviously I would love if that meant that something was happening to the stone, but I'm not going to get my hopes up. It's just we're trying whatever we can. Bare minimum those pills are good for giving her extra vitamin C and some B, B vitamins but she's been doing awesome so like I couldn't ask for her to be doing better and seeing her little happy face every morning just makes me happy everybody else has been really good everybody else is all down here so we got Hucky who is the man of the cage he's the neutered male everybody asks what he is he's a silver agouti just a gorgeous guy so we adopted him right from four weeks old because he was born at a rescue that we were able to get him from and then uh, Raisins is on the Raisin is on the couch on the right and then there's Velvet in the center and then Reese is on the left hand side the sweetest little herd ever they're so cute if you can ever make a herd of guinea pigs I highly recommend it seeing all of them interact together is just the cutest thing uh, one day when Reese went to the vet just to be have a little health check, uh, she came back and she was so scared. She gets herself really nervous being off to the vet. She wouldn't even move in the cage. Like, she was frozen. I couldn't even get her to move. And the cutest thing is that every single pig from the herd came over and started grooming her ears and her neck and her face. Like, all of them were, like, literally just kissing her as if they were telling her it's okay. And then after that happened for about a minute, then she came around and started moving around and was eating and sleeping, her usual. But it just warmed my heart because it was just like, all these pigs are the cutest, so sweet. Like, all of them were kissing her. It was so cute. There's Miss Tubbies. She is just the prettiest little piggy. <laughs> You're so gorgeous. What are you doing, little Buzz? Hi, Buzz Buzz. Hi, BB. What are you doing? You're so handsome. How are you? Did you just finish all your veggies? Did you? You're such a good boy. You gonna have some hay now, or what? Little Buzz is doing awesome guys. So Tuesday will be one week from his neuter. Right now it's Sunday. Um, I have to check his incisions twice a day, every single day. So I do a full cage clean for him twice a day. Take him out, sit with him on my lap and pet him and everything. He's still quite nervous about picking him up. So he just goes in his little tunnel and I pick that up. He does enjoy being out on your lap and being pet. He really snuggles in, which is so cute. So in about another week and a bit, he'll be tried with the sisters. Hi, you coming up? And hopefully that works out. Um, the other option I will be doing is if he doesn't go with them, I'll be looking for a baby female for him. So that's how I did it for um, Angus was got him autumn and I think they're such a happy pair uh, the male female pairings just seem so peaceful compared to having males together from my experience when I first had pigs it was so difficult to get the males matched up and like you can't keep just adopting more and more pigs trying to make happy pairings so that's what I will be doing if we have to go to that. I really don't want to. I want him to go with the sisters, ideally. So that's what we're hoping for, fingers crossed. Um, he's getting so adorable for 
doing cute little laps and little squeaks while he pops corns around. He's just the cutest little pig. Um, and then Mrs. Annie here was so excited this morning for her tomato that she was stretching way up and had a little tiny tumble fell onto her back and was freaking out for a second but I was right here so I helped her back over and then she took her tomato and act like nothing happened you can tell Angus is her son can't you they're both a little bit wild and Annabelle is in right in there in that little cozy so there's a heat mat underneath that it's a huge plastic dog heat mat that you plug in I got it off of Amazon, there's so many options if you check, and it's waterproof and the cord is chew proof, so it's a nice option to have during the winter just to make sure that these two are extra cozy. If you like watching guinea pig videos, learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe. And make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from. So keep on watching.